In the meantime, tributes have been pouring in. One of such is from the acting president paying tribute to the channel's television state house correspondent, Chukumano Kusi, who died in Abuja last night. Professor Yemi Oshibato, in a statement, said he received the news of the death with great sadness. The acting president extends his condolences to his family, the channel's television family, as well as the state house press corps on the death of Mr. Anu Kusi. He describes him as a professional who combined high professionalism with dedication and patriotism in his diligent reportage of activities in the presidential villa. Well, for the latest in sports, let's join, join Baron Tony. <laughs> Thank you, Millicent, and welcome to Sports News. The race to secure a place in the last eight of the channel's International Kids Cup has begun. After day two, action in six places still is up for grabs in the quarterfinal. Our sports correspondent, Austin Okonakban, has a report. Coming to you live from the Teslin Balogo Stadium. Here the big action kicks off day two Liga proceedings Liga. at the channel's Liga. International Liga. Kids Cup. The boys from Katuna and Kwara were Liga. hoping Liga. to consolidate Liga. on their opening day wins, and, and they did. No team has been able uh, to really uh, get an advantage. And here comes uh, the first opportunity, the first advantage indeed uh, for this uh, team from uh, Kwara State. The ball drops. Oh, the woodwork to rescue, but he goes in down. He goes in now. It is a goal. After so much hard work, miscommunication in the defense, and the ball found its way somehow into the back of the net. Kick off in Group D. Only Delta recorded and victory on day off. one, the and that left the group open. Dalinti strikes it. It's a beautiful goal. It doesn't get better than this. And with Imo beating Benin Republic, the oh, group remains there. open. Everybody was ball watching. The time is running out. And it's all over after this free kick. Okay. After watching yeah, Benin Republic go. fail to book a it's place in the last Can eight, the boys from Can Ghana fought for victory against Turaki Model School from Sokoto. Oh. Hard break for the Sokoto team. They got the, 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 is the that should be the late kick of the game. The next game between Oshu and Edo was a tough one. The boys from Modakeke needed a win and they got it. Control that. And then you have a chance now. A good shot and it's a goal. The goalkeeper launches it. After day two action, only Quara and Kaduna have qualified for the quarterfinals. Day three will produce the remaining six. Austin, Okonakpan, Channel Television News. And with day two action in the Channel's International Kids Cup, we end on Sports News for tonight. We'll listen to you back for the rest. Thanks, Baron. UK Prime Minister Theresa May says a third threat level in the UK has been raised to the highest level of critical, meaning that further attacks may be imminent. This comes hours after police named 22-year-old Salman Abedi as a suicide bomber in last night's explosion at Ariana Grande's concert in the Manchester Arena. Abedi is thought to have blown himself up in the arena shortly after 10.30 p.m. local time, just as fans are beginning to leave the Ariana Grande concert. And the main news again. The federal government today denied paying 2 million euros as ransom to the terrorist group Boko Haram in exchange for the release of 82 Chibok girls two weeks ago. The presidency spokesperson insisted that Nigeria's military has the capacity to deal firmly with unrepentant Boko Haram terrorists who had been released in exchange for the girls. Also today, the management and staff of Channels Television have been mourning the passage of the station's State House correspondent, Mr. Chukuma Onukusi, who died last night in a private hospital in Abuja after an illness. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Many thanks for watching. I'm Millicent Walker. Have a good night.